Hi, I'm Julia Sykes and I'm going to show you how to play XLF. To begin with, I will play the piece through. So there it is. First of all, we're going to learn how to play this main right hand theme little bit by little bit. So the first little bit goes like this. I'm going to play that much again and add on the next bit. that much again and a little bit more. And that much again with a bit more. And one last little bit added to that. Now I'm going to show you the second half of this melody. to that. That much again and a bit more. And now the last part. Okay, so let's look at the whole right hand of this main melody. Now we're going to learn the bass solo. I'll play it through once. Now let's learn how to play it little bit by little bit. That much with a little bit more added. I'll play that much again. Now the next part. That with a little bit more. And a bit more. So that whole bass line. Then we do this little filler that 
it goes like this. So the bass line is played twice and that little filler comes in between both times. I'll play it through for you. To look at perfecting the rhythm of the right hand before we add in the left hand. There's some parts of the melody where we don't have a note on the beat. I'm going to say boom in those spots. So it goes like this. Boom. So I suggest that you practice playing that right hand and putting the booms in. I know it's a silly word, but it works. Now, in our left hand, first of all, we are just going to play a single G like this on the beat. With our right hand melody, like so. Once we can play that, we're going to play the left hand with the correct notes. The left hand really should be playing this. So when we put it together, it looks like this. gets played through two times and we're going to use the same filler that we used before in the bass line that's this filler in between so at the end when we're playing the melody in the left hand together we'll only be playing two G's and then the filler like that so I'll now play the melody through for you twice with that filler put in between just played two G's on the end and that brings us to the ending so for the ending we play this and if your hand can reach an octave you can do this instead so that is you're playing two G's in the right hand the left hand plays the same notes so when you put it together it looks like this okay so let's put the whole piece together first of all we're going to start by playing the melody of the right hand like so then we go and we play the bass part each section in this song is played two times so we'll be playing the melody two times the bass two times and then when we play the hands together, this will be played two times as well. So, I'll play it all three for you from the beginning.
Cliff. I hope you have a lot of fun playing this very funky piece. We'll see you next time. Thank you.